young people do not receive Holy Communion in the hand from the Bishop of Armenia. Priest William suspended. It happened in Armenia, Quindio, Colombia, during an end of the year confirmation ceremony with the Bishop of the Diocese of Armenia, Carlos Arturo Quintero, in the parish of the Holy Apostles in their urbanization, Ulima. Priest William de Jesus Marine Perez was suspended for having allowed the faithful of his parish to receive communion in their mouths and perhaps because of the pride that the bishop felt when he was rejected by young people who were genuine in their faith, who preferred to give traditionalist testimony by not receiving the Eucharist in their hands. The young people of that parish did not want to confirm a faith that profanes the body of Christ by receiving him in the hand. As martyrs, they preferred not to receive Holy Communion than to commit sacrilege. The priest accepted the decision to be suspended by the bishop, and in his final Eucharist, he said, It is true that the storm brings disaster, but it brings good things. So do not worry, do not worry. May it always be only to defend the truth, to defend Christ's presence. So I live satisfied and I live happy. When one defends the truth, others do not like it. If I had proclaimed myself, everyone would be applauding. I live happy because I have proclaimed Jesus Christ. I have spoken the truth and I have defended the faith. And that is the truth. I live happy. And I know that deep in my heart there are many mysteries. Yes, that it is not only those who are here who have learned more. And this is my great satisfaction. The parish was left without a priest, and surely there will be another stiff hand like the bishop who will only give communion in the hand. Comments This is the penalty that a priest suffers for feeding his sheep in the worthy way that the Lord teaches us. And we, the laity, are also being penalized for not receiving the Holy Eucharist in the hand. In the Diocese of Armenia, where there are dozens of parishes. There have been only three since the pandemic began that allow communion in the mouth. Now there are only two left, but not for long. I also give testimony of what happened to me personally on Sunday, December 12th, with the same bishop, Carlos Arturo Quintero, in the Cathedral of Armenia. I knelt down to receive the body of Christ. I opened my mouth and I stuck out my tongue to receive the Lord with dignity. But the bishop denied me communion. I had to stand up and live without receiving the Lord. The shepherd let go the sheep hungry for God. He lost his priestly opportunity and displeased God. This phenomenon is happening all over the world. And how is it that these rigid bishops and priests forget the threefold instructions to Peter and the shepherds of his flock to care for and feed the sheep unconditionally? John 21, first verses 15 to 17. But more readily they gladly give Holy Communion in the hand to a homosexual or to a person in an adulterous relationship than to a layman who wishes to keep in the 2,000-year-old tradition. All this is happening within the framework of this modernism 
that is being pushed on us from the Vatican with the apology of the pandemic and the new church designed to satisfy men, not God. Priest William de Jesus Marine Perez has been sent on vacation at Christmas time, the busiest time in the church. His future is uncertain. He will have an audience with the bishop two months later. The faithful of the parish sent to Monsignor Carlos Arturo Quintero a petition signed by 100 people, asking him not to suspend their esteemed priest. But there was no response. The priest left the parish on December 16, 2021. The Catholic Church is subjecting to persecution all priests and traditional faithful. So, end of the Latin Masses. An end of the Eucharist in the mouth. Now we must accept the modern changes of the Church or join the profanation and sacrilege, risking our souls. God forgive and bless all these rigid bishops and priests who are being unfaithful to their priestly ministry, who are pandering to the world and turning away from the purpose for which they were chosen as priests. God bless also the few priests faithful to Christ who risk losing their ministry because they know that it is better to listen to God than to men. Acts 5, verse 29. St. Thomas Aquinas teaches that we should not practice false or unlawful obedience, as in the case of a superior who clearly contradicts a command of a higher order, especially from God. Adoration of God truly present in the Holy Eucharist. St. Teresa of Calcutta, in an interview with the Wanderer, Catholic newspaper, March 23, 1982, said, The worst evil of our time is communion in the hand. St. Pius X said, When receiving communion, it is necessary to kneel, have the head slightly humbled, the eyes modestly turned towards the sacred host, the mouth open enough, and the tongue slightly out of the mouth, resting on the lower lip. If you like this video, please give us a like, subscribe to our channel, The Work of God, share on social networks, and do not forget to leave your valuable comments. God bless you.